Hey, this will be an explanation of sensitivity and what you should set it to in order to have a good efficiency with accuracy and rust. Although it's not limited to this game, th these are just general things that are very helpful to know about in other games. So there's three types of hand movements. There's moving your whole arm, there's moving your wrist, and then there, there's the rare one where you move your mouse just with your fingers. And nothing a professional CSGO player made a very detailed video explaining this, and I will link it in my description. So, um, generally, you will want to have a low sensitivity if you move exclusive, exclusively with your arm. Lots of space that you'll, you'll probably want to have. And you'll want to have a decently high sensitivity if you rely on your wrist or your fingers to move your mouse. And uh, there is some players like me that just use a combination of wrist and hand, hand movements. So let's say I want to make a, a twitch around, I move, use my arm, then I use my wrist to control the recoil of whatever I'm shooting at. So, uh, many people say that sensitivity does that not matter, and that it's just preference, but it's, in my opinion, that's a lie. You want to have your sensitivity high enough that you can move quick enough to do what's necessary, but low enough that you can do certain things accuracy, accurately. This would be something like shooting at a naked uh, at over 200 meters away with an AK while tapping. So I, I devised a test that I always tell other people to do. And so what you, how it works is you want to set your uh, sensitive <coughs> sensitivity high enough that you can fully control the AK spray, or at least vertically, but low enough that you can um, at least shoot accurately. And So it doesn't look like I'm moving my mouse very much, but um, <clears throat> if, if I were to have the sensitivity any lower, then my hand would get uncomfortable. And that's the really main thing that you want to be looking for when you, you're changing your sensitivity. If your hand's very uncomfortable when, you're, uh, when you have a low sensitivity, turn it up. Because you're not really able to do very much if your hand's in something like this position or something. Like you just have to turn your sensitivity up so you could be at a more accurate apex pose before you get into something like this, which you shouldn't get. You should readjust your mouse before you get into something like that. Um, the other test is where you just shoot an, with a nail gun while standing up, which is more simpler than the AK, but pretty much the same thing. <coughs> um, so if, you're, if your hand gets in a very uncomfortable spot during the spray, then increase your sensi sensitivity until you get to that sweet spot where you can control the, f the spray entirely, but it's not high enough that you can't shoot accurately at long distances. And it's just a reminder that you should not readjust your sensitivity constantly, because um, this will mess up your muscle memory. Just test out what works and stick with it, and if you're uncomfortable, then just, uh, just test it out. So how sensitivity works is there's a mul multiplier right here. Mine is, is 0 0.47 and my DPI is, my horizontal DPI is 950 while my vertical DPI is 1400. So you just multiply that, that number by what the DPI I mentioned to get the, the true DPI if you were, would want to copy someone. Um, so before I carry four, I should mention something called carpal tunnel syndrome. So this is as something that's taken a lot of people off of their gaming careers because of this, and it's it's not as common, or it's not as big of an issue as some people think, but it is something that you should look out for. Um, if you get pain in your hand right here, you should like take breaks oftenly, or like just shake out your hand or massage it, even if even if it's for a minute, because there's there's lots of people I know of, including me, that take very long sessions where, where I'm just on a computer, even when I'm not playing. So if, if you're getting pain in this area, that's not a good sign. Um, so just make sure that you just take care of yourself. So practicing is the best way to improve your efficiency. Combat tag servers are very good for this, and it's mainly to improve your skills for aiming and abusing cover, which is also a very nice skill for Rust. And a different server, which is uh, also good for aiming is aim train servers where you just shoot at moving bots and 
the, the main determining factor of a hit or miss shot on a moving player is how well you track them. So, um, let's say you don't want to go to any of those servers, you can just go on a creative server, set up some targets, move, make sure you're moving around, because you will want to move around to make yourself harder to hit while you're shooting at other people. And you, you just practice. And um, after some time, you, sh you should be comfortable. Um, one last thing I should mention is that you should have the the true full screen window commands. This will get rid of an input delay for for Rust, and it's very helpful to have because if, if you're playing in window and you have that delay, you're you're pretty much um, slower up uh, compared to other people in, in a liberal sense. So hopefully this video is helpful, and I'm going to be doing. A series on PvP tips. This one was for sensitivity.